Mr. Should I call you Mr. Sure. Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for Good morning. Me. Morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. You are a transgender. What, 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 what shows that I'm gay? You are a transgender yes, and you're a gay rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, lesbian, homosexual. How can I describe you? I am Pepe Julian Onzima. I'm um, an LGBTI What's that? activist. I'm a human rights defender. I'll, I'll get to wh wh what it is. I'm a human rights defender, um, currently focusing on LGBTI uh, issues. Uh, and where the, do you lie? Common, the common thing, the word they use to describe intersex people is uh, hermaphrodite. Mm. But in my line of work, that is derogative. Where do I lie? I'm a transgender person. Transgender. You are initially male or female? The sex that was assigned to me at birth was female. And you opted to become male? Not exactly opting. It's, 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 it, it's something that I have been since I was, uh, I was young. But um, yeah, in terms of uh, expression, it's, it's who I am now. How did you discover that you are actually meant to be male? Well, um, growing up, you know, a, a child is born. And when you're growing up, you're, you're within a society that has a certain structure. Yeah? And you see yourself basically fitting more in a certain box. I said I was born female, but I was my expression at that time and my internal sense of myself was male. So have you child. have you realigned yourself into being a male or you still share both bo both sexes? Uh, I am within transition. You're within transition. Yes. Now, so why we, should someone be gay? Just for the record, I am not a gay rights activist. I believe there's nothing like gay rights. There is human rights. There right. is human rights. Uh, and, and, and there are humans who are gay and those who are not gay. So I'm a human rights activist who is um, um, advocating for equality for even people who um, have different sexual orientation or gender identity. So as we stand today, are you dating any female? Yes, I am. You have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. While in transition, you're having a girlfriend? Yes. Do you perform the natural obligations? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sexually active right now. So what are By you doing choice. with this lady? By choice. By choice? Yeah. I've just not, uh, I've chosen not to engage. Doesn't that make you gay? What do you mean doesn't that make me gay? I am, I am male and attracted to a female. So who is gay? I described a gay person earlier. Someone attracted to, 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 to the same sex. To the same sex. Yeah. Mentally, emotionally, f uh, physically, sexually. So as a human rights activist, what do you think of gays? Are they normal? Is it normal to be gay? Absolutely. I mean, um, most, mo most people... We, we had a chat a little earlier, and um, gay people are born that way. They are born gay. Yeah? Because you tend to realize yourself as... Um, or, or, or find out these changes in you when you're a child. But because of the structures of the society, as it is now, about uh, male and female, all those boxes that are placed there, if, as a male, I'm attracted to another male, when we're growing up, the structure is, uh, okay, Simon, si Simon has a son. Simon will marry, um, th th the sort of betroth you as kids, you know? They will be like, uh, Simon's son um, will marry Pepe's daughter, yeah? But then,
Pepe's daughter, or Simon's son, realizes that as he's growing up, actually this thing is not working. You know, he's not attracted to my daughter, but he's attracted to my son. But because society dictates that it should be my daughter with your son, then people tend to hide who they are. And then people think that it's a choice. But the whole, um, the whole feeling, the, the, the physical, the emotional, begins at a very early stage. And when people get to an age of uh, puberty where, uh, in, in most cases, people get uh, sexually active, most gay people do not express with the same sex due to fear, due to the, the, because they do not want to be seen as, um, as not being part of the society. But gay people are actually born with this orientation. Is this a disorder? Absolutely not. Natural? It's not. Um, we have uh, records from the World Health Organization. You know, a team of experts who also thought who thought it was a mental disorder. And later on, it was scraped off the list of disorders. And I'm, I'm not just using that um, as, as a, an SI unit or a, a, a yardstick to, 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 to say that uh, it's not a disorder, but it also backs up the fact that it's not a disorder. I have lived for, for a certain period of time, I lived as, um, as a gay person because it was the easiest way for me to come out to my family to say, I'm a lesbian and not a transgender, you see. And how did it feel? What? Being gay then. It's, it's, it's normal. I mean, it's, it's human. It's, it, there, there's nothing, there's, there, there, there's nothing uh, strange about it. What is strange about it is the way people react when you tell them, you're not like them. Uh, what do you think of the stereotype that uh, this gay culture has received in Uganda? It's very disheartening. Um, we, are, we are humans, we are Ugandans, we've been born here, we've been raised here, we've gone to school here. Um, some of us have been forced to get married here. So this is, um, is, 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 is a country for all of us. But the, the stereotype is really hurtful because as a transgender person I've described to you that I'm attracted to female that if, if, if it came to down to my sexual orientation I'm heterosexual but when people look at at me they automatically think you know the automatic thing is that I'm gay and they will attack me as a gay person. Do you feel you deserve sympathy when whatever you're doing is very unnatural, biblically and uh, socially, uh, naturally, it's unnatural? I think it's, 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 it's the fear of the unknown. People who do not understand um, homosexual people think all these things about homosexuality. And people normally th go straight away to thinking about sex. And mm. that is where the danger is. And because of uh, a lot of ignorance as well, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's a bit um, difficult. Uh, we, I, I wouldn't say we deserve or want sympathy, but I believe that as Africans, as Ugandans, we are a tolerant uh, country. We are uh, our, our nature is actually. We, 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 how many we people are you Ugandans, for? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about you Ugandans. For? I'm speaking as a Ugandan. I'm speaking as a Ugandan. And how many Ugandans are into this practice? What do you mean, practice? Okay, this uh, culture. <laughs> May, le, 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 let me rephrase it and answer it this way. How many homosexual people are there in, 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 in this country? There are no statistics. Um, there have been uh, guesses for about 3% um, to 5% of the Ugandan population. Mm. But um, obviously with uh, space, us being pushed away from, the, from, from, from space, uh, to, to be able to raise awareness, it's very difficult for us to carry out um, a survey 
to find out how many we actually are in this country. So are you craving for attention or recognition? Craving is not the word I would use. I would say that um, we are working, I am working towards um, the liberty, the equality of all persons, and no person should be discriminated or stigmatized because they are of a different sexual orientation or gender identity. So it is about equality, which is guaranteed by the Ugandan constitution. 